Hey guys, welcome to the first vlog. Today we head to Dana's restaurant. I'm gonna try out some of the breakfast and see what it's about. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna look at a Jamaican restaurant here in Miami. So if you're ever in Miami, one of the places that you wanna visit is a restaurant called Donna's Caribbean Restaurant. Just checking the audio to see if everything is good. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video. All right, sounds good. So Donna's Restaurant is one of the Jamaican restaurants here in Miami. Um, so today I had the chance of of heading over if you actually go to Donna's restaurant this is how they they serve their dishes if you want to check out the, the vlog go over to my channel and you'll see it posted in a little bit so this morning I ordered um, Aki and Sawfish with uh, brown cheese let's take a look Check this out. <laughs> the original good yard, good abroad type setting. So that's the Aki and the Sawfish and that's a small. Now we're gonna check out the um the brown shoe. So the brown shoe comes in the same paper bag but seems like the the grape they are run out. In terms of the in terms of the the brown stew, see that? <laughs> you guys aren't here. You guys are missing something. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Head over to the YouTube channel and you know check it out. Mukbang Jamra. Eating some of the Jamaican dishes, but of course taking you on a joy ride here in Miami and some of the other states. Stay tuned for that. All right, so let's take let's take it out of the you know what? Let's leave it in the in the bag for so the gravy that's that's there. That's good. It doesn't affect the flow. All right, sitting out there. Of course, for the juice. This is one of the Jamaican juice. If you're not familiar with Jamaica, um, Vitamol, the original Vitamol, and you know, of course, some Grace Tropical Rhythm. It's a Sunday morning. 
So in the morning, and you don't see how to make the thing run. Um, of course, I have some ice and I have to have it to make the thing, you know. Hope you guys staying safe in Jamaica. Hope the the rain and the weather is not affecting you guys. Up the tropical rhythm. Oh no, eating start. You know, so you have to have the juice set. So this is. This is what it looks like in the cup, of course, giving you all angles and that. We're not gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna see the vitamin for last. If you, if you make an order at, at Donna's, this is what they give you. I mean, typical, typical restaurant, you know, plastic fork. But it's not about the fork, is it? It's actually about the dish and, and how it tastes after that, you know? Alright, so here we have it. Two dish pans on the morning. Hockey and sawfish pan left. Brown stew chicken on the right. Um, both dishes have something similar in terms of the dumpling, yam, banana. For the large, what they give you is, is I believe five pieces, no, two, four, six pieces with actual planting. So you have the option of choosing two banana, two yam, two green banana, boiled banana. And then, of course, if you know this, you know, original planting on the side. Um, for those of you who do not know what yam is, this is, this is yam. I don't want it to drain on the, the computer too much. And then what we call, you know, dumpling. Dumpling is made by kneading flour together and of course you add some like salt and thing and dating. For those of you who are not familiar with, I mean, Jamaican cuisine. So what does the, the, the brown stew chicken look like? Looks like. So the brown stew chicken right there. Just the juice alone a while ago that I, that I sucked off was it's getting me boiled up. And the aki, the aki is, it's actually a fruit. Some people might disagree with that in, in terms of it being a fruit. But it grows on a tree and when it's, when it's, you know, at maturity, the pods open and then the aki comes out. You take the aki out, you, you pick the aki, you take out the, the blockhead, take out the blockhead and thing. But what, what is mixed up right here is is actually aki and sawfish. If you can if you can see that, giving it another another view right here. Aki and sawfish. And of course the red the red that you're seeing right there is the the onion, the, I mean the tomato. The tomato and of course you can see some onion inside. But we don't want to talk too much still. We just want to go in. So make we hear what we can taste of the food. I said. If you're ever away from Jamaica, Donald's is one of the places to visit. The first, first impression of the Aki. As we always say, up. Just like Jamaican style. That we would normally do it. The sawfish is not too sour, which is good. And it's not fresh. The onions mix very well with the tomato. It creates, you know, a, a good visual for, for the for the dad itself and of course you have you know sweet pepper inside mm -hmm. 
you don't want to drink drink too much at the start because you know say you don't miss the best part which is the food so you leave the drinking for last in fact many people believe that drinking doesn't have to come with the, 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 the meal itself but it's actually healthier to drink you know after you actually finish eating all right so hope you guys know you know bad banana you must know bad banana those are you who is not who are not familiar with this type of just a green version of the ripe banana we are used to you know in Jamaica and other places in the world and you boil it mm. Mm. I like a sip. The ice on the top of the tropical rhythm kind of gave that a fresh taste a while ago, so you have to stir it in a bit. Once you stir it around, it comes back to the natural flavor. Having two cameras on this side showing, displaying um, both sides of the, of the coin. Guys, remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel. On that channel, we're going to preview some of the Jamaican dishes. Um, for you, most of you know that Jamrock stands for Jamaica, of course. Um, but for those of you who, you know, other people from other places, they might not know. You know, we're going to feature some Jamaican dishes, but also we're going to do some, some other dishes. You know, sushi, Asian dishes, um, American dishes. Mm. Now, when I stay over this side, and for those of you who don't, do not know, Aki and Sawfish is actually one of the most favorites in Jamaica. I want to focus more over this side where the Aki is, but the taste of the chicken, when I taste over this one, I can't just leave it alone. You understand? So, I have to just pop a piece like this. Mm. Mm. But you know what? Just just dip in that gravy a little bit. The chicken is good by itself, but the gravy, the gravy, I, I, I'm not sure if you can see the gravy dripping off, drip by drip, you see that? The gravy. Mm -hmm. All right, two sides to the story. Mm -hmm. So what the plot now say? So planting is, for those of you who might not be familiar, planting is like the, the bigger version. Bananas and um, a lot of times they are, they are ripened or half ripe and then they're either fried. Some people actually boil it as well, just like the banana. But for this, we're gonna go in full fledged. Mm. Shout out to shout out to Adrian watching on, on Facebook. Big up yourself, Adrian. Just leave a comment and hope everything alright wherever you are, Bill. Remember to like, share and subscribe, Adrian, you know. I win as a Jamaican, you win automatically, bro. Mm. So what is a Jamaican dish like? Honestly, 
I cannot compare Jamaican dishes to American dishes or, or Asian dishes. It's a total different genre just to if we're talking about it in that sense. If we're talking about music. The seasoning is completely different. The closest to this type that I've seen is when I went to, to Africa, Ghana. You know, they have a similar similar method of, of of cooking with the seasoning this a lot of people don't realize but in terms of cooking the seasoning is actually what what gives you the winning touch and the patience once you have the seasoning right you just be a little patient in terms of the cooking turn the fire all the way down and once you turn the fire all the way down the patient comes in now with the patience, you ensure that the, the meat or the food is not burnt up or you know dry out and things like that. For the right for the boiled banana, a lot of people when they are cooking boiled banana, they peel the skin. There are individuals however who who will cook the banana in the skin just cut the edges off cook the banana and what happens is sometimes it most times it comes out even wonderful because you don't have that blackening that takes place when you peel the banana and leave it out too much enzymes reacting to the oxygen in the atmosphere you know what I mean so so far the Aki when I Jamaica is number one I have to finish that first I haven't had that in, in a little bit. Can I make the ackee go? Yes. Pure deliciousness. Guys, what are you having on this Sunday morning? Ackee on surface. Kalalu. Or chicken. Or maybe, maybe soup on Saturday, you know. Leave a comment, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. I can run out and finish. But that's not the end of the show, the show continues. So, you know, go to another planting. You know, I had the four, which is down to three. Now it's down to two. Mm -hmm. There is a beauty that goes into making dumplings. But after several practices, you will get it. It's not a hard task. You just have to make sure that first off first, you don't put too much water when you're kneading the flour. Mm. The beautiful thing about this, this dumpling, is that it's not too thick. You see how thin it is, which is good. And when you're biting it, check this out. It's not hard, which is a very good thing. What happens when you're cooking is that when you need the flour too much or for too long, it gets too hard. You don't want that to happen. But what you want to happen is get it soft, get good gravy, and you dip it in like this. Ice is doing a really good job to, to cool everything down. But there is a there's a, a negative effect that it's having, which is not a bad thing. It's making the top of the juice a bit fresh. So to get that juice back to its normal flavor, you just start running a bit.
The dumplings are really delicious. If you take a look at the yam, the yam is cut in a decent size. It's not too big. I do not like to see when yam is cut big. So they did a good job in terms of cutting at the yam. The second feedback that I have with the yam is that the yam the, it is so clean you see that that yellow in the yam the yam is so clean you know it it's it's very appealing if you are used to you know you know these type of food sometimes when you deal with the yam when you peel the yam you have to peel it properly you know mm -hmm. I have some napkins to um, clean things up a bit. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful day in Miami. Guys, if you want to see the vlog to this live stream, you know, off, you know, when I when I got up, when I went to to Dana's, check it out on the YouTube page. Mukbang Jamrock. Just hit subscribe, the subscribe button below. Drop a comment to let me know. Not to that we see how things go, you understand? So, on this side we're almost finished. Almost finished with the... With the, well, the Akian Sawfish done already. How many times? Excuse me. Akian Sawfish is finished. One degge degge. <laughs> you know Jamaica, one degge degge. Piece of banana left. One digga digga piece. Hope we're not rushing things still. Guys, remember not to overeat. Overeating is not good. Remember also to eat healthy, which is good. Get your vegetables in. And an important point to mention now is that starch foods like these, the yam, the banana, they actually help in terms of your bowel system. So that's good. You know, if you saw in the Aki and Sawfish, there were, you know, vegetables mixed up. And of course, I encourage, you know, getting as much vegetables in as possible. And when you're eating dishes like these, you want to actually make sure that, that nothing escapes, you know, because of the deliciousness. Alright, down to the final piece of plant. Or plant 10, depending on where you are. Tomato, tomatoes. You know? Mm. The smell combined with the taste. Makes you just want to eat and eat and eat more. I like the color of the juice. Juice is just just doing this stream of favor and, and the recording that we're doing. So the truth is in terms of being away from, from yard, a restaurant that's outside the boundaries of Jamaica, done as um, Donald's Caribbean restaurant did a really good job in terms of the food. If you're ever in Miami, I would recommend 
as a Jamaican or anybody to try out the food that they have. Um, the banana is done really well. I mean, the banana you just boil it. But in terms of boiling banana, you have to know how to peel it right. Sometimes you might leave some of the small green skin on it and it doesn't look good. But these green bananas, they came off really, really well. The yam, the yellow in the yam was a really clean yellow which I showed you. The dumplings, they weren't thick. They weren't hard. Um, they could be a little in terms of smaller in terms of the size. Um, but the Akian sawfish was not only up as we would say in Jamaica but all the way up. But could make the Akian waste. Finish it off. Alright, so this is this is the end of Aki and Sawfish. And this is a small, this is what a small looks like at Dana's restaurant. You know, but only salvation lasts forever, so finish with that. Shout out to my new subscribers. Guys, I appreciate the love. Appreciate the support. You know, the comments help. The views help. You know, subscribing and, and giving a subscription helps the channel as well. And, you know, we just have, we just have the thing run. You understand? The chicken. Focus on the chicken. Look at this. Wow. So how is how is brown stew made? Well, once you prepare the chicken itself, in terms of you thaw the chicken, which is frozen. You, you know, wash it with vinegar. Some people don't wash it with vinegar. You cut up your onion, your scallion, your pepper, hot pepper sauce, any seasoning. Seasoning is key. Once you get the seasoning right, then they have a sauce that they call browning sauce. You can get it in supermarkets. If you're here in the States, Publix, Walmart, browning is all over the place. <laughs> and, um, you know, you just, you just add it to the meat. So what some people do in terms of cooking brown stew or cooking, even curry, some people might add it to the pot, you know, before and then add